everyone. I checked that my mic is on this time, so we are good to go. All right, so this is going to be an Amazon haul. I also have a Jackson's Art haul, um, and I just want to, again, um, share these items with you because I think it might be useful for some of you um, to see these items if you're interested because I ordered them. It's something I was thinking about getting into or trying out before this whole virus outbreak and are staying at home so now there's loads of time. I've been taking online courses and I've been purchasing a few things to keep myself as busy as possible mentally and creatively. So there are a few things here which I want to start using and one of them I already did. So you might have seen this one in my previous video. Um, um, so let's probably start with this palette. So it's a um, vintage palette or vintage, it's like a pencil case type of thing. And it's um, it's a metal tin with hinged um, lid so it doesn't come off fully. And basically um, I'm keeping my watercolors here uh, for now and that's why I ordered it. I rearranged it if you saw it last time. This is now in the color order and then I have also three spaces um, I have created that way like one extra space. Um, so it fits, let's see, so at the moment I have 20 full pans in here so nine across like that and a nine again 18 and two this way that's 20 and then I have three extra spaces so you would be able to fit 25 full pens and then when it comes to half pens you could do a lot more obviously I haven't tried half pens so I don't know um, I'll try to link it if I can find it in the affiliate links for you to check it out uh, it came with this cut out and play um, kind of thing and here is the brand nostalgicart.de so it seems like a German brand and I'm going to cut them out and like actually fussy cut them because you can flip them to the back and sort of play around but I'm going to fussy cut some of the images because they're adorable I love this boy with a teddy reminds me of my son so I'm going to cut him out there's another boy here with a doggy and um, yeah, quite a few people here. So I'm going to use them in some of the projects. Okay, so enough about this. This It says here, Kallax Rice Krispies and a super adorable girl on the um, swing here with the blossom tree. And just the color is, I love the blue and the yellow. Super, super adorable. It's quite heavy now um, that it's filled. Along with that, I also experimented and I got a smaller tin. Uh, from another, I think it was another seller. So it says here, Blockheads 1938. So it's the picture of the um, the actors, Stan Lauren and Oliver Hardy. Um, so this must be Blockheads. I don't remember if I actually watched the movie, but that I think that's from the movie. And it's supposed to be a tobacco storage tin, but obviously you can store here whatever you want to store. And these make super cute watercolor tins. So it's a really small one, but it's bigger than um, the super tiny mint uh, one. So I'm going to just open it. So it's a sticker on top and it seems, I don't know whether it's waterproof or not, but it kind of is super sleek. So, and again, um, it's a bit of a deeper inside, so it's not a shallow one. So just as a comparison, mine are shallow and um, basically this is what they look like inside. Um, so you can see there isn't much space here. Um, on top here, if you're going to stick one of those, you're going to have loads of space like that which is absolutely fine but you can fit quite a few of these half pans so let's just see you can fit three and then I would say you probably can fit up to 12 half pans my guess would be that but I haven't obviously I just opened it so I haven't played around with it anyways these are like I said they're cute to have um, like seasonal little color palettes so that's that now the other stuff it's all kind of one subject which is these um, wax um, seal stamps 
and I've ordered a few things. So first of all, I ordered some of these uh, wax sticks, and this was a set of 12 colors. Um, again, I'll try to link it. They all seem to be metallic, and they, they have nice colors, except for, I think this one is the classical kind of blood red dark color, and it's not metallic. Everything else, oh, and there is one brown as well dark brown so that's also not metallic but besides that everything else is metallic sorry I hope you could hear me with all that crackling so like I said just the two colors the brown and the red dark red they are non-metallic the rest of the 10 colors are all metallic and basically what you do is there is a little um, kind of um, what is it called uh, you know every candle has one of those um, can't think of it anyway so I think you're supposed to light it and then melt it drop by drop but that would take forever I would assume I don't know I haven't tried so what I probably would do is just cut off a piece of it and then I bought the separate thing which is for melting this whole situation and it's got a nice little stand like this. This is quite nice um, quality. It's out of wood. It's dark, kind of like mahogany color wood. Very beautiful, dark red. And then there is this metal, very thick disc. Um, it's kind of came off from the glue. So I might probably want to mend it, I don't know. And then what you do is you just stick your little spoon like that and it stays nicely doesn't come off and then inside here you put your piece of whatever you want to melt sometimes you can get these in like pellets rather than these sticks or you can cut them and then put a little piece in there and then underneath so if I tilt it like that you would um, put a candle there light it so like that underneath uh, put it put the thing on, uh, on top and then the the heat from the candle would melt the ink and that way you don't need to kind of you know usually it just comes with a spoon and then you do it like that holding it but that may take quite a bit of time so if you have this little stand i thought it's going to minimize the time and it's going to be really really useful and practical so that i can get on with doing other things while this is getting this the wax is getting ready and liquid so once that has done liquid uh, liquidated <laughs> liquid liquidified anyway once that has gone liquid um the the wax and you're ready to stamp then you need those um this type of things the um stamp so i got two sets here one has a handle and then it has these um, screwable tops I assume you can yeah so you can replace all of them like that and it also feels quite nice it's made out of wood these are very heavy good quality and the pricing mm, I would say medium like it wasn't too expensive it was a little bit pricey once I got the whole thing together um, but if you buy just an uh, individual set or individual um, seal stamps like that then it won't be as pricey so this one had um one two three four five extras uh with different let's just show you quickly a different design so these are all kind of botanicals so there is this lovely sunflower The detail seems to be fantastic, so I think it would look really pretty. Then we have, um, gosh, I'm forgetting my words now. What is this one? Fan, that's it, fan leaf. Again, fantastic detailing, if you can see it up close. Beautiful. Next one. is um, like a daisy or some sort of really nice looking flower. I like this flower, really pretty. Loads of small petals around it. 
<clears throat> Actually, let me just put them back in here. They come in the boxes so they're easy to store this way. This is a bunch of like a countryside wipe um, lavender. Looks really kind of like French type of style, you know, French countryside. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. And the um, last one, last one is um, a leaf. Um, all right. So the one that was included was um, had rosemary on it, and I really like the rosemary. Really pretty. Okay. So the next set is going to be this one. Uh, I wonder, I think, did I order this one separately? I think I might have ordered this one just on its own. That's another type of a fern. It looks very different to the previous one. I don't know if you remember, the other one was chunkier. There we go. So just to compare side by side. Very pretty. Okay. So this one is like a classic set if you want to get started. Um, so it has this cute little heart. Anyway, look at this beautiful butterflies thinly cut here. So that's quite cute. So this is what I was talking about. Generally it comes typically with like just a basic spoon. Um, I don't know how that would be holding it. I mean, the metal is really bad on here. It's not nicely cut, um, so I wouldn't even keep this because I have loads of other things. But um, yeah, so and then it has two candles. It has the typical classical colors here, which is the um, dark red. And this one doesn't have um, that candle. Gosh, what is it called? The, you know, the cloth thing here. Um, yeah, so they just, you just cut them like a piece of it and that's it. So that's a silver, that's a gold. And then this one uh, has, I think, I can't read it now because it's the reversed way. But what is it? Thank you or something? Or for you? Oh, it says for you in a very classic, traditional kind of scripty way. Very, very beautiful. So if you want to make like gifts, like little bottles of bath salt or scented um, sea salt with like lavender or whatever you want to do and just decorate it for friends um, uh, or, or whatever or your Etsy shop um, these are quite cute to to use because it looks very like very professional and um, so that's why I got this one I couldn't find it on its own and I thought I'll just have a few separate items here but in reality um, you know this set if you can find it separately it probably would be better um, but if you haven't if you don't want to buy the whole deal which I showed you before and you want to start nice and easy this is a good set to start because it has everything it has the stamp it has the wax the spoon and the candles as well so that's it that's it for today so thank you for watching I hope it inspired you in some way and see you soon